Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of taxonomy. Now, taxonomy is a concept or basically a science where we can use keywords or some words for the classification of our content. Now, Drupal also uses the concept of taxonomy and many of the websites or blog posts you might have seen, they are categorized on the basis of taxonomy. In many cases on different social media sites, you might have seen people using hashtags. Right? So hashtag basically is used to identify a post or content which is basically discussing about a topic or that's a keyword in onto that and all in simple terms it's a concept of tagging suppose you have a rack or a bookshelf where you have a lot of books now without reading the name of the book or something if you want to classify them and keep them in one location so you could classify the books on the basis of some kind of sticker. Maybe you have round stickers of different colors and let us say you decided a yellow color for or computer related one, blue color for something. So you would just put that as a tag on that. And just by looking at that color, you will come to know that this belongs to a particular category and you can keep that book over there. So similarly, we can use the same concept in our pages or posts or the content which we are creating over here so drupal also has the concept of taxonomy which is added over here you can see we had seen that when we create the article article allows us to use these tags so here i have tagged this post under cms and media wiki so what's the advantage of it to see the advantage of this what i have done is basically i have created some content which is about vegetables and fruits. So I have created this article because article page allows me to add tags. So let us say I have created this page for beans, strawberry and so many other things, right? Simple pages are there. And on every of these, I have added these tags, strawberry, a color of the fruit, whether it is a fruit or vegetable, it's a berry, it's a seed, fine. So what happens is if i click on any of these taxonomy terms over here drupal will pull out all the articles or all the content that is tagged with this or is using this particular taxonomy term so if i click on this particular thing you will see it shows me a taxonomy term over here and here it says beans this is also under or it also has the taxonomy term seeds, strawberry has seeds, zucchini, bottle gourd and whatever the terms were there, they are having these things. Now you can look into that particular article which you were looking. So now I opened another article over here and it has some taxonomy terms. Now here there is another term, it's not necessary the term should be a single word preferably they should be single words but now here i have used three words fruit considered vegetable so now when i click on this like here eggplant it is a fruit which is considered as vegetable zucchini cucumber tomato which is commonly considered to be vegetable is actually a fruit so if you check out the concept of a fruit fruits basically they have their seeds inside it fine now if i again click on red I will have the list of articles which are having red color. I have, if I just click on fruits, I will have the list of all the articles which are tagged under fruits. So this basically allows us to categorize our content with different keywords and searching them becomes easy and filtering them out becomes easy. Taxonomy in Drupal is maintained separately and i will be discussing how to create new taxonomy later on but in this example or in this video we will create a content article because article by default has the facility of taxonomy or tags so how do we add this in our content type we have seen how to create a content type in one of the videos so if you wanted to add 
the concept of tags or taxonomy to your content how we will do that we uh, we will see in the next video how we can create a taxonomy and how to utilize it in our content type so let us say here i am going to create another one a fruit mango everyone knows that i have already downloaded an image for mango it's not necessary that you have an image basic idea is that your content type should be having this i have opened the wikipedia page so i'm going to copy this as my content and i'll place it here fine and now here are the tags so first tag obviously is going to be mango because some people could talk about different kind of mangoes based on their varieties so mango will be one of the keywords here then color yellow sometimes green fine so now you will see when i type some few characters like if i start with g it will show me all the taxonomy terms that are having g so if i say gr so i can utilize that again fine similarly when i was actually typing yellow fine so it shows me yellow i should use that if the spelling is same it will utilize the same one then uh, this is a fruit fine this is sweet king of fruits fine so i have added a few of these and it does have a seed so we will have seed so i have added these taxonomy terms to this now these terms are not part of the node internally fine these are stored separately each taxonomy term in itself is a kind of uh, content fine which is being referred to this particular article or is getting associated to this article drupal automatically will bring them and display them so let me save this page now now our article is created and here it is displaying me this so now if i click on mango there is only one term that is associated with the mango or one article but if i click on yellow then let's see what happens we get this mango we have zucchini fine we have pumpkin we have banana all these things are coming under this taxonomy now if i click on sweet let's see what comes up we have mango we have watermelon we have banana these three things are under the term of taxonomy so basically the idea is using taxonomy we can classify our content into multiple ways <clears throat> let us say you are talking about animals animals so what is going to happen is you will call your taxonomy as animals fine and uh, or the whole bunch of taxonomy will be called as animals we will make it in the next one then in animals you will have the whole list of these names of animals their species okay so here i have opened a list of animal or from wikipedia let's say you are talking about animals different animals so here if you are talking about birds right trivial name is birds so any bird you are going to talk about you will use the taxonomy bird if it's a young one you could use the tax this term chick female is hen cock and maybe under birds there are a lot of birds obviously you could utilize the name of that specific bird also and uh, maybe based on colors and all other things you could put it under that taxonomy so here like this is for dogs fine dog pup or puppy you could use female male dog collective noun canine and a lot of other things where you can specify whatever it is fine so under this uh, particular scientific term you will have fox jackal hyena and so many other families will fall under this similarly for this you have horse donkey zebras and so many other things under this cat you have all the feline family falling under this so whenever you are basically trying to create a content to be able to make your search engines or people find it easily you have to use this keywords properly over there tag them with those things so if you tag something uh, with feline or cat 
all the cat family talks that are happening you could add that particular term to it so that's the basic idea behind taxonomy and uh, next we will see how to actually create taxonomy terms or in drupal it's called as vocabulary how to do that we'll see in the next video